Hey guys, Ari Alligator here, and uh, today I'll be quickly going over what happened today at WWDC, which is the worldwide co conference hosted by Apple. So first thing that we obviously expected uh, was iCloud. Well, I guess we didn't really expect it, but it was pretty much confirmed before the conference. So iCloud, as you can see here, it lets you store your content, and wirelessly pushes it to pushes it all to all your devices. So let's say you take a new picture on your iPhone. It will be on every uh, computer, so it can be a PC, Mac, iPhone, iPod, iPad. It'll be on all those devices at the same time. Uh, and the last 30 uh, pictures, uh, or like the pictures of the last 30 days, will be shown. So uh, yeah, and everything else will be backed up. So I guess you can go on your computer for the main archive. And uh, iOS 5, of course. Let's go ahead and uh, see what's in there. So. We can here see um, all the new features, and as you can see, first thing in the I think the most important thing is notification center. So now all your uh, notifications are pretty much like Android how it was. So you can see you can scroll down from the top, and it is actually pretty awesome. I'm really excited about this. It shows all your notifications. It can show the weather. And uh, here we have an example showing stocks. So later they may add a support for uh, widgets. Oh, and also um, Twitter is integrated, so I'll show you guys that later. So there's an overview. Of course, uh, another thing that's new is iMessage, which is like pretty much uh, BlackBerry Messenger or BBM for iOS devices, so it'll be on every device. So as you can see here, iPod, Touch, iPhone, and uh, iPad. So you can uh, send videos, text, uh, group message, and pretty much instant messaging through those devices on 3G and Wi-Fi. So you, you may want to lower your texting uh, plan if you have a lot of friends with iPhones or iOS products. And then newsstand, and uh, it's pretty much for your newspapers. Nothing too exciting there. Reminders, which is uh, it, like a simple to-do list. Better than calendars because I found calendars too um, hard to add stuff. So this is much easier. It shows a list on the side, and you can see here it is. You can add all. Uh, there's an example of like a list for groceries, and integrated uh, Twitter right into iOS 5, which is pretty awesome. But it's gonna pretty much kill um, any Twitter app competition on the App Store. So developers that were working on a Twitter app are pretty much screwed sucks for them but as you can see it's uh, completely integrated you can tweet from the browser it seems yeah and uh, here's an example on the iPhone and uh, yeah so it's built in and also it's it can interact with your contacts which is pretty cool camera uh, now you can access the camera from the lock screen which is uh, which is uh, I expected this to be in pretty much iOS 4 but I guess the way to till iOS 5 so that's cool the uh, slider is now smaller so um, but you can uh, open the camera tab from the lock screen uh, with just one tap so much quicker if you just want to take a quick snap and uh, enhance photos so you can edit your photos for uh, red eye just auto enhance crop them some basic stuff so you can see remove red eye pretty cool and Safari, tab browsing now on the iPhone as well as on the iPad. Much better browsing and also syncs with your iCloud. And uh, there's also a reading list, so like Insta Paper, so pretty much killed their business too, but I guess it's better if it's integrated. And sorry if I'm sniffing, I'm kind of sick, so yeah. Oh, and also PC free, so. Uh, you don't need to plug in your new iOS device to your computer to be able to use it anymore. You can just activate and set it up right on your um, iOS device, as you can see right here. It's similar to new Android phones. And uh, that's cool. And also, something else that's cool, as soon as you buy your iPhone, if you had a previous iPhone, you just enter your uh, like your Apple ID and password and it pretty much brings everything in that you had on your other device which I find really cool so you don't even have to plug it in it just downloads everything right on your phone and uh, new mail so enriched text nothing too exciting there calendar is uh, there's a weekly one there now so much similar to the iCal on Mac 
Game Center, they have added uh, new features. There is actually it said five million, I think over five million Game Center users. So that you can now have uh, there are more achievements. You can add a picture of yourself to represent it, just more enhanced overall. And Wi-Fi syncing, so no need to plug it in. So they're really pretty much uh, getting rid of the need of a computer to be able to use your iOS device. Um, multitasking gestures for the iPad which was rumored a while ago but it's finally here so you can swipe with four fingers to switch between apps which is much faster. I wish they'd add that to the iPhone 2 but I guess four fingers wouldn't really fit if you have big fingers and then um, oh you can also mirror your iPad screen on your Apple TV without the need of a cable. You used to be able to do that with a cable but you can now do it without a cable and here it says uh, what it's compatible with so uh, sorry iPhone 3G owners you are not uh, getting this amazing update and uh, so iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 3rd gen, iPod Touch 4, iPads so both of them and now let's go ahead and go back up real quick I think I missed something yeah so this is how notifications will look on the lock screen pretty cool and you can swipe it to open the app so let's say you have a phone message or a, a missed call you just swipe it and it opens the app and here it is if it, like you're in a game and a notification pops up just like that so this was this is pretty much the exact same as mobile notifier they actually hired the guy who made this and uh, implemented his idea into iOS 5 which is pretty cool and just really going back uh, check for things I missed. Oh, also something else that was pretty loud. But yeah, something else that's pretty cool is uh, location-based reminders. So you can say if I, let's say, drive by Safeway, like five kilometers before I reach it, remind me to like buy milk. So that is actually really cool. And then you can see the notification shows up in your lock screen with the new notification system in iOS 5. And this will, uh, update will come out in uh, fall, so I'm really excited about that. This is probably the most anticipated uh, iOS update, of course. It gets uh, better as you move on, so that's uh, expected. And here it is how Twitter is completely integrated into iOS, so you can tweet from anywhere. And... Um, Oh, you can also pinch to zoom. I need to stop saying oh as soon as I see something, but sorry, I can't control it. But you can also pinch to zoom, uh, to zoom in instead of the bar if you choose to. I find the bar easier to use, more accurate. And uh, this is the reader tap browsing. And uh, I guess that's pretty much it. If I missed anything, feel free to leave a comment down below. As I already have said, uh, it will come out in uh, fall. Let's go ahead and now look at um, OS 10 Lion. Pretty high resolution picture here. Gotta wait for it to load. I always love the updates or the wallpapers that come out with new Mac updates. So Launchpad, uh, you've probably heard of that. All your apps shown in one place. You can full screen apps without the dock, which should have came out a while ago. It always annoyed me how you had to have that dock, unless you made it uh, disappear. Or, yeah, auto hide. Mission control, which uh, shows all the windows you have open in a tab. Mail, some enhancements to that. Multi touch gestures. And, uh, yeah, so there is a video of all these stuff, or video made by Apple on all these stuff which are way longer than this although this video was pretty long so you can go to apple.com check those out alright so thanks for watching sorry I sniffed a lot during this video I was going back to edit it and realize how annoying it was but don't forget to thumbs up follow me on twitter at twitter.com slash alligator uh, like me on facebook link down below don't forget to subscribe and if you watch until the end of this video you're awesome write um, pink manly bear wrestlers in the comments below if you watch all the way to the end. I don't even know why I said that, but I uh, will see you guys in my next video. Bye.